The sun burns hotly through the gums as down the road old Rogan comes the hatter from the lonely hut beside the track to Woolly but he likes to spend his Christmas with us here he says a man gets sort of strange living alone without a change, gets sort of settled in his way, and so he comes each Christmas day to share a bite of tucker and a beard and and the boys have naught to do, except a stray odd job or two along the fence or in the yard, it ain't a day for work and hard dot says dad. One day a year don't matter much dot and then disheveled, hot and red, mum throw the doorway puts her head and says, this Christmas cooking, my the son's near fit for cooking by dot upon her word she never did see such your fault, says dad, you know it is plum puddin' on a day like this, and roasted turkeys. Spare me days, I can't get over women's ways and climate such as this the things all wrong a bit of cold corn beef and bread would do us very well instead. Then Rogan said, you are right, it's hot. It makes a fella drink a lot dot and dad gets up and says, well, Come along. The dinner's served, full bite and sup. Come on, says mum, now I'll sit up. The meal takes on a festive air, and even father eats his share and passes up his plate to have some more. He laughs and says it's Christmas time, that's cooking, mum. The stuffing's prime. But Rogan pauses once to praise, then eats as though he'd starved for days and pitches turkey bones outside the door. The sun burns hotly through the gums, the chirping of the locusts comes across the paddocks, parched and grey. Few. Wheezes father. What a day. And sheds his vest. For coats no man had need. Then Rogan shoves his plate aside and sighs, as sated men have sighed, at many boards in many climes on many other Christmas times. By gum. He says, that was a slap up feed. Then, with his black pipe well alight, old Rogan brings the kids to light by telling or again his yarns of Christmas tied mid English barns when he was, long ago, a farmer's boy. His old eyes glisten as he sees half glimpses of old memories, of whitened fields and winter snows, and yuletide logs and mistletoes, and all that half forgotten, hallow joy. The children listen, mouths agape, and see a land with no escape fro biting cold and snow and frost, a land to all earth's brightness lost. A strange and freakish Christmas land to them but Rogan, with his dim old eyes grown far away and strangely wise talks on, and pauses but to a sky ain't there a drop more in that cask? And father nods, but mother says a hem. The sun slants redly through the gums as quietly the evening comes, and Rogan gets his old grey mare, that matches well his own grey hair, and rides away into the setting sun. Ah, well, says dad. I got to say he never spent a lazier day. We ought to get that top fence wired dot my. Sighs poor mum. But I am tired and all that washing up still to be done.